Hello, this is Jeffrey. Here's a PreSonus Studio One trick I stumbled onto that really helped me when editing some podcasts, and I think it'll help with music as well. What I used to do when editing was use the hotkeys. So if I wanted to put a split in here, I'm putting splits in all across here because it's a podcast and we're doing ripple editing, I would press 3 to get the split tool, click to get the split, and then press 1 to go back to the smart tool and make my editing changes like that. Okay, let's undo all this, and I'll show you what I do now. The trick is to come up here to this little triangle in the corner of the Smart Tool, click on that, and now you can pick which tool comes up when you hold down the Control key. So I'll pick the Split Tool. Here you can see Studio One is highlighted under the Split Tool. I'll come back down here to Edit, press and hold the Control key, click to get my Split, release the control key, it's automatically back to the smart tool, and I can make my editing changes. Anyway, this was a wonderful find for me. I hope it helps you. Happy editing. Well, here I did a whole video on this select alternative tool method, and it turns out, at least as far as doing splits, there's another easier way, and that is just using the smart tool itself. As another user pointed out to me, if I position the cursor above the halfway point of the event and double click, it puts the split right in there for you so you can immediately make edits. And of course there's the ever popular selecting a range again from the top half of the event and then double clicking inside there and it puts in splits at both ends. So just a little addendum to my earlier video. Hope that helps you.